I think that the way I was dealing with being in a relationship with Joe was tucking it in a back, just tucking it, hiding it. Just because I can't stop. I have to continue going because people rely on me because I have to handle stuff because I have to grow in this business because I'm not going to fold. I'm not failing because you want me to. And I just keep going um, until you're trying to me too. So, you know, the words of my friend Charlemagne, either you meet your trauma or the trauma will meet you. I didn't walk into that house to discuss being in a domestic violence before. It just met me face to face. Um, and then watch your ex say something like, Tahiri will fight a man. I didn't fight him. I was scared to death. Um, and by all means today, I'm not a fighter. I'm just gonna defend me, my mom, my sister. I'm the oldest. I'm gonna defend everything I love and I work hard for. Um, but no, I don't walk around throwing apples or fighting a man. Like I've been beaten before. I, 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 you know, that relationship left me with a fractured rib, uh, a broken nose because somebody was sending him a message, and and I used to always say, "Yo, stop beefing." I'm, like, oh, I'm out there still working. Um, and he hit me on that nose and then pushed me down a flight of stairs. I remember having to talk him out of letting me go that day. I remember having a plan to leave because the reason why he was so upset was because I was already leaving. Um, looking through my phone and shit, but I had already told him, give me two weeks to pack up my things. Um, and he agreed to, and then started looking through my phone. Next thing you know, I, I got woken up by him dragging me from my ankle. I managed to get up from that floor. I remember having everything in my bag, all the things that I needed to have in that bag, my, my passport, my birth certificate, you know, the shit that I needed. That's all I needed to get some money that I had already had together because I didn't, I was raised better. I never saw my mom hit, my father hit my, my mom. I, I, you know, I knew better, but I don't know. It, I became that person that you hear about. But and you never I, thought you would be that person. Oh, and, and, it, and, and, and the women need to know that a man will break your spirits before he actually puts his hands on you. It started with verbal abuse, emotional abuse, you know, and then eventually it turned to that. Um, I and I still I still fear for my safety also protecting because you know he hurt me bad and I just stayed quiet I didn't you know what I'm saying I went to the hospital and he sat next to me and I liked the doctors and said I was cleaning a cabinet and fell in my kitchen um so and then, you, he, so then you he rapped about it wait what was the last part you just said he rapped about it he kind of you know kind of said something about fracturing a rib, you know, hitting her in the rib. It was just so, It's it, and for years I've just sat there and and I've let go and let God, at least I thought. Um, I've tried to deal with this privately, but every chance you get, you sit there and you lie. And then you go as far as to doing 20 something minutes of your podcast and you say to Kiri, well, she will fight a man? No, I'm gonna fight you back if you're trying to hit me. And I didn't fight him. To sit there and have something to say about domestic violence, I, I've been, I've been home for what three weeks, trying to clear my mind on how to, like, why, 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 why am I not with you, physically, but mentally, you're trying to keep me in this prison.